Okay, so we have our magnets here. So I'm going to make two different kinds of magnet sticks. Okay, so one of the sticks I'm going to use is this here, and all this is is a handle to a cattle paddle. Before I got into contract work, I used to work with cattle. And I miss working with cattle. But uh, this is the handle to a cattle paddle. The one I actually have here is a little fancier one. It's got this fancy handle on it. And I camouflage it because I used to have a treble hook on the end of it when I'd go ice fishing. And you have the fish come through the hole. You could uh, gig them and pull them out of the water. But what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this off probably somewhere in here. And uh, that way when I'm down on the ground it's shorter and easier to work with instead of this long stick here. The other one that we're going to use is actually a golf club handle. This is a graphite one I believe. I don't golf so I know crap about golfing. Um, but basically all I did was I went to like a used store, found a yard sale, whatever, found a golf club, um, and I cut the head off of it. And on this particular one, Uh, I'm going to have to drill a hole in it so I can get the screw in there. So let me go ahead. I'm going to do the other the other stick first. And then we'll do this one. So let me cut that one down. I'm just going to use my Dremel and cut the other one down. Just cut it off. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we cut, cut the stick off. You can see it has the fiberglass on the inside and the rubberized coating on the outside. So I'm going to take my knife and cut around this so the magnet fits on it. Okay, so I took my knife and I cut around and I cut a split in it so this should pop off nice and easy, like so. Okay, now we're going to attach the magnet and trim this up and we should be good. Okay, so I, I slid the magnet on and there's a little excess there. I'm going to trim that up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to just epoxy it on. The epoxy I'm using, I just got at Ace Hardware, it's just a quick setting. I think it sets in, sets in 8 to 10 minutes and it cures in one hour, so it's pretty quick setting. So let me trim this up and then we'll mix the epoxy and glue it on. Okay, so we trim that up so it's more or less flush, and now we'll mix our epoxy. Stop, stop waving that around. Okay, so if you've never used this, I didn't even think of this, if you've never used this two-part epoxy, it comes in these two tubes. It's one tube with two tubes. Okay, it comes with these two uh, tubes together, and you put your material out like I just did. And then you have to mix the two materials together really well. And I can't do that very well because I only have one hand to do it. And you do that for a couple minutes. And that helps it bond. You can see where it's turning kind of a milky color. That's the reaction of the two, two uh, materials mixing. Yeah, it's gross, isn't it, kid? Uh -huh. Okay, we got our epoxy mixed up. And now I'm just going to put it on the end of the stick and slide the magnet on and uh, wipe off any excess. Okay, the other thing I failed to mention before I put the epoxy on is when I was using my Dremel, I roughed up the, the uh, outside edge of the stick just so the epoxy will bond a little better. 
give it a twist so it evens out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this in my vise in an upright position so that epoxy fills in any uh, gaps in the top ring there. And then we'll get to working on our second one. Okay, so that other magnet stick is setting and we're going to do the golf club one now. And I'm just going to drill the tip out a little bit so our screw will fit in. Alright, we got that drilled out now, so we're going to go ahead and see how well the screw fits in. And this screw, I, I don't know what size it is, it was just something I had in the garage. Um, and it fits in there more or less flush. And it'll just fit like so. Once that's set, we'll be ready to go. Okay, so I mix up the epoxy, put some on the screw here, and I put a dollop on the tip here and it kinda drained in there a little bit just for a little extra epoxy inside and then we're just gonna go ahead and screw that on just move it around a little bit make sure it's flat more or less just like that now we'll let that set and we'll be ready to go Okay, so I got the epoxy set, and I just put a dollop on top. You can see how glossy it is there. It hasn't hardened yet, but um, just so the sand and different things doesn't get all caught up in there, it's easier to remove. It, seal, it seals that crack. So we're going to let this set, and I'll be back. Okay, so we decided to come down to the park, let the kids run around, burn some energy, and I'll metal detect, see what we can find, and we'll try the magnets out. Metal irony target here, kicked out of the hole. Let's see how this works. Oh, right there, bam. Here, you felt it. Some sort of little screw. 83 to 42, 36, 29. I actually see it right there. Beard top. Something right here. Piece of wire. 